What do you think, uh, what Armenian activists is doing wrong all over the world to raise their voices, to tell the international community that Azerbaijan is committing cri uh, crimes? It is... Uh, Let's form up. Barta Hosov Hosata, we have mics. Okay. It is not in any way up to them and their responsibility to raise awareness about this. Um, now it's up to each and every one of us to raise awareness and to and to demand justice. Uh, not the least people who have a platform, not the least people who are. Uh, for example, climate justice activists, human rights activists all over the world, uh, but who are now silent on this um, uh, during COP. Um, so it is not in any way up to only Armenian activists to raise awareness about it. Uh, How can Gen Z impact on the global issues right now? Um, How can we demand climate justice? How can we? Gen Z. Yeah, I mean, in every possible way. Um, I think. We just. <laughs> I mean, the power of Gen Z is has been proven time and time again that once we go together, once we start to organize, there are very, very few limits to what what can be achieved. For example, when we with the student movements uprisings and, for example, the the school strike movement and similar and similar uprisings, because I mean, we also have to explain to the older generations that we are not going to let them get away with their bullshit anymore and let them get away with with um, locking us further into this extremely destructive system um, and just say that we are not going to we are not going to accept that thank you so much how to raise awareness in countries where climate change for environment is the number one priority where people are on the verge of a new war for example, yeah. every day, how to raise awareness in countries where this is not the number one issue? I mean, it's obvious, um, and I think people who are living under repression every day understand that better than better than anyone, of course, that we cannot uh, be talking about climate justice, we cannot be talking about the environment if people do not have even their basic human rights. Um, so that's why human rights and the climate crisis and environmental issues has to go hand in hand. We need to, simultaneously, as we are um, demanding human rights and demanding uh, freedom and justice. Uh, we also need to raise awareness about the climate emergency and to explain how these how these issues are interconnected. Um, Do you think that animal exploitation is also part of the environmental problems? It's yeah. usually being excluded from the environment. No, of course it is. Of course it is. In any both, form. Yeah, of course. Um, both when it comes to the, the climate and environment, the same reason, the same industries, the same system that are exploiting animals, as you say, um, are the same ones that are destroying the nature and also exploiting humans and destabilizing the biosphere and the very living conditions we all depend on to survive. So, of course. Uh, maybe you already know that uh, COP17 will be in Armenia. It is definitely possible. I would love to. I would love to come back. Um, I have had very lovely days uh, spent here, meeting amazing people and seeing amazing nature. So I would love to come back. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. So <laughs> not even. I don't know what I'm doing later today. So. Two years is a bit difficult, but I would have to go back. That's the spirit. <laughs>